Hello everyone and welcome back to another Ethan Journal video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a project that I've worked on for about a week now and it's finally ready, it's finally online, and it's finally time for me to share it with you guys. So what did I do? Well, you probably already know from the title of today's video, I made a search engine and yes, indeed, you can use it. It's called One Tab Search and it's honestly pretty cool. Um, it is based on the search in project over on github which again i'll have linked in the description i did not code this myself but i did customize it and make it fit what i wanted to do and it's basically focused on privacy and ease of use um this search engine is free and open for you guys it has a website which you'll learn more about later in today's video or down in the description but in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how it works um, and some of the cool features about it so let's head over to the computer so here we are on the main screen that most of you guys will see when you open up your browser. You most likely use Google. I can't guarantee everyone does because I don't use Google. I actually use Brave because I use the Brave browser, um, web browser, and they come with their own search engine, which I like a lot. But I actually might be switching over to my own search engine because it has a really cool, has a quite a few actually um, cool features. Again, I did not code this myself. I'll link to below where you can actually get this and install it yourself on your own server or something. But the way that you get to mine, it's called One Tab Search. You can actually see my Linode window up there. But just go to Google and go to onetabsearch.site. This is the URL. Now, again, like I said, it's based on searching. Uh, that's how it's pronounced, I guess. And it looks a lot like Google, but there's some really cool main features. For example, let me just search for, let's say, like YouTube. If I can type. Just search YouTube. And then we'll click there. Um, this is going to load up and it looks a lot like Google, but you'll see here, YouTube is up at the top, but you'll see down here, it's Wikidata, Google, Quant, Brave, DuckDuckGo. What this web search engine does is not only does it pull from like one other search engine like Google or DuckDuckGo, it searches every single one in existence. Well, at least most of them. Ones like Wikipedia, Google, Brave, DuckDuckGo, all of these other ones that exist. It goes to them and inputs the exact same query that you ask to search for, puts them into there, and then gives you one list of all the results from all the search engines, giving you pretty accurate data and finding the majority of the sites that you may want. Now, the other key feature about using one tab search my search engine. Um, the main feature that I would use it for is privacy. When you search something on Google or even DuckDuckGo, um, they are profiling you and taking what you're searching and using that to sell to advertisers across, if you use Google, across all Google services, anywhere there's Google ads present, which is on a lot of websites around the web. Uh, DuckDuckGo is a lot more secure, but they do have this weird deal going on with Microsoft, so they're not as secure as most people think, sadly. But by using one tab search, you can guarantee that your data is not being stored anywhere. I don't access it. Leno doesn't access it. The coders, the developers of um, SearchX or whatever it's called again, um, they don't access it. It's all safe and secure. It's deleted right after you search it. Um, I did this. I used this search engine um, to base mine off of because of privacy, because of security, and it was easy enough to set up that I could install it on a server. So for the most part, this is actually pretty darn secure. Um, you won't have to worry about at that many problems with this, and if there is a bug, uh, you can contact me over on my website. Now let me walk you through uh, some of the different things that this search engine has. So if you go over here, you can see it's powered by searching. Uh, this you can learn more about it. I'll, again, I'll have the uh, GitHub thing linked down in the description. But if we go back here, um, you'll notice up here there's preferences. There's actually quite a few options you can do. So not only if you don't want to just find websites, you can default when you search something to be images, videos, news, maps, all this stuff. And again, it's searching across everything. Now, you can actually choose where your autocomplete comes from. So I have mine set to Google because Google autocomplete is pretty nice. But you can search, you can choose any of these other ones for it to autocomplete from or just turn autocomplete off altogether. But I do like having it on and I think it's a pretty useful feature. Um, so I'm just going to leave it on. Now, you can have safe search on. I do use it uh, most of the time, but because I just set this up, it does refresh every time. But you can set it up to always keep on your browser. But we'll just have that off for now. Um, and the host name replace and all this other stuff are features. If you know how to use them, feel free. Um, user interface, you can actually change this if you want to have light theme, which I don't know who wants that. But if you want light, 
you can have light mode. Um, I certainly like dark mode better, but if you like it uh, in light mode, feel free. Uh, and there's so many other features that you can just run through here, and there's so much other stuff. So again, if you head over to one tab search dot site, that is where you can find it. I'm going to keep this up for at least a year. I'll do an update right as my billing cycle is going to end for this. And if you guys uh, let me know that you're still using this, if it's still something you want to see up, um, I will may consider doing another year of hosting this. It is somewhat expensive. It's costing me roughly five bucks a month to host it and then an extra uh, $25 a year for the domain name security and DDoS prevention. Um, and all this other stuff that um, I am paying for. So I would like to say a big thank you to my Patreons. If you want to help support this, uh, feel free to go over to my Patreon and support me there. Um, that'll help projects like this continue to work. In fact, if you go over to donate right here, it'll actually take you straight to my Patreon here for as little as $1 per month. But yeah, that is my search engine, onetabsearch.site. Feel free to use it. You can head over to my website if you would like to at ethanorman.com. You can find it in the projects tab or just head over to onetabsearch.site. Again, I will have the searching uh, GitHub page linked down in the description along with the link to one tab search. So I hope you guys use one tab search. If you really do enjoy it, be sure to leave a comment about it. If you have any features or if you want to help me with this, I'm trying to figure out a few extra things, trying to get custom branding. Maybe I could switch this out with a one tap logo that I have designed, get like cool different themes for this. Um, but yeah, I'm going to continue actively developing on this. Maybe I'll post a few more updates in the future. But other than that, um, that's all I have for today's video. Be sure to check out one tab search. Um, but until then, have a great rest of your day, everyone. Thanks for watching and goodbye.